Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with a TNH with the 51 which is a tier 9 Czechoslovakian heavy tank. It has two gun options just like a tier 10 and just like a tier 8 but obviously for me autoloader seems just simply better choice and better option to use although I have seen people being successful with a single shooter gun overall. Now Quick information for you, we haven't played with this vehicle for uh, quite some time, last video was, ba was back in 2022, uh, actually 2023, sorry. Um, and I believe it's about the time to make it work. Obviously, if you are curious about the tank rating, community rating, or overall you would like to join the community rating votes you need to log in via our gaming api and you can vote would you look at that 176,000 votes this is some sort of crazy number fellas and uh, i am very grateful that you are spending a minute of your time to join the baboon community and just to raid the tanks right uh, and obviously being honest about uh, your opinion what do you think right okay so what do we have the first things first red shire assault so we are in quite a bit of the disadvantage but we are not going to panic we will try to do our best uh this tank has an auto loader too in the magazine for 40 alpha damage so you can do 880 uh, um, damage on average with a clip and all we need to do we need to search for enemies making silly goose mistakes that's all we need to do by the way if i can highlight one thing shooting gold is obviously more beneficial you have faster shell velocity and you have better penetration so i believe it is not a humongous surprise that it's just a simply better choice overall right but that is okay i believe you are very very well aware of that and uh, really more expensive ammunition is better really skill i know fellas i know who could have thought no one could have thought that no one could have predicted that that's for sure um so i believe you understand quite a bit of the sarcasm coming from my side it just how it goes but it doesn't make the standard ammunition unplayable by any shape or any form or at least i do not look at it as it is unplayable now we need to have our eyes widely open and all we are looking for we are looking um, we are waiting until enemies would make one or another bad decision and they would peek here and once again it is a matter of the time whenever enemies are going to do that meanwhile I need to reconsider my life choices and I would love to help our carrot and I would love to help our Vaza but unfortunately in this situation I'm on the reload so there is no need for me to peek like this. It's just simply not worth it, right? It is just simply not worth it. Okay, I have quite a bit of the lag. I did not manually turn it like this. I can guarantee you that. Um, but it happens. Sometimes, sometimes uh, for some weird reason, the game can lag a bit. It's okay. Shit happens. We are fine. We eliminated the bad shit, which is very, very good. And unfortunately, now our Vaza 55 is just getting farmed, but we still have IS-7 here. So he will eliminate this gentleman. And after that, 430 doesn't have anywhere to um, run, if you know what I mean. So we are feeling pretty confident in this situation, and we are feeling pretty well. Poor object for 30. There is nothing what he can do about this. And we have plenty of the sniper schnitzels who are just simply waiting for a moment until they could slap this guy. Okay. What to do next? Next mission will be to take this position over there. This is what I am looking for and that's what I need. Right? So we will have a bit better side angle in this uh, case scenario beautiful very very nice luckily he doesn't pay attention at us so once again we are just simply having our eyes open and we are getting another beautiful magazine very very nice now where the gameplay goes for uh, uh for t and hash it is not a super heavy tank okay let i want to be very very clear with this vehicle it is not a super heavy tank it's not like IS-7 when you would be able to push in front and do whatever you want in order to slap the living crap out of the enemies. It doesn't work the same way. This tank is like a hybrid between the medium tank and the heavy tank, right? 
but it doesn't make this tank being able to push to the maximum and make hardcore pressure without um, without any chance to get punished, right? It doesn't work this way. Armor of this tank isn't phenomenal, okay? When we have this out of the way, that's absolutely glorious and that is amazing. Now, what would we like to see in this type of situation? I would like to punish this gentleman playing over there. Very, very nice. And I am going on the reload. I know exactly how am I going to approach the enemies and I am going to go like this. Why are we going to go like this? Because we can afford it and in the same time this object will simply take one for the team. That's all we need for a full happiness. This game should be five to 6,000 damage at least. That's what I want to believe and that's what I am hoping for. Okay, beautiful assisting damage. That's very much appreciated. And now we are just simply finishing this gentleman off. Beautiful. Very, very, very nice and very, very good. So far, fellas, we are playing great. There is still plenty of the bad things to do for the enemies. So all we are doing here, we are just chilling and we are just enjoying ourselves for obvious reasons. We are very, very well aware of a couple of guns looking towards us, which is, uh, which is fine. And in the same time, what I would love to do, I would love to take one for the team from the 1 to 1B. And after that, to simply slaughter him, right? For obvious reasons. Beautiful tracking shot. This is exactly what I'm looking for. And another tracking shot. Very very good i want to dodge taking one for the team and definitely we dodged that pretty well and now we are just simply chilling and waiting until we are going to reload with the next clip we can definitely eliminate this one to one b and we can eliminate this 430 this is what we are looking for and that's what we need uh one to one b is eliminated excellent and now we are just simply going for that for uh 30 right this is exactly what we need he may be waiting for us like so. Luckily, we caught him off guard, which is... This is what we were looking for, and now maybe we are going to spot Arta. Okay. Was F-55 is trying to make quite a bit of pressure here? I am not too paranoid about this. I am not too sad about this. I am feeling alright, considering that this gentleman is sitting in the crossfire. We tracked him. That is a good thing. And even though we are taking a bit for the team, it changes absolutely nothing, fellas. We are still feeling extremely well over there. And we are just simply being smart how we are going to make pressure for the enemies, right? That's all we are doing and that's all we need for a full happiness. Yes, we are very, very well aware of this um, Uda sniping sideways, but once again, it changes absolutely nothing. We are sitting very, very, very well over there. Beautiful. How about the shot like so? Beautiful. We eliminated Vaza 55 and this is literally perfection. We were not too aggressive in this situation, which is good thing in my opinion, right? Uh, and our decisions uh, led us to farm a lot of damage and in the same time not to be uh, crazy aggressive and not to um, make a humongous mistake, right? So I would say this is a very great success where this game went. Once again, we treated this, mid, uh, this tank like a medium heavy hybrid and that paid off very, very, very nicely. Now, there is a couple of the Arta sitting uh, here near the red line for obvious reasons, right? So what we would love to do, we would love to eliminate at least one of them, but I failed doing so. Very, very greedy decision, but you know what? I'm not going to complain. Very, very beautiful game. I am super happy about this. Let's see the score. Okay, beautiful. 5.4 thousand damage, 4 kills, 1.6 thousand assisting damage, solid A swanker, high caliber. Once again, not the game I am going to complain about or cry about. 1.4 base experience, so we are first by experience, first by the damage, and we even made a bit of the credits as well. So... Obviously, most of the credits are coming from completing the mission, but hey, uh, this is perfection, fellas. I would definitely not complain about this. Very good. Let's keep it up. Okay, round number two. In this situation, we are going to do something else. Um, 
There is two plays which uh, stuck in my mind. The number option, uh, option number one would be to play over there and to sit hold down, and no, option number two would be to take the things a bit slower and to just simply play hold down. And at this point, I am considering to simply play hold down, and we are going to be completely fine, right? I think this is just simply the best uh, um, idea in this type of situation. The risk is relatively low, and overall we can be uh, pretty successful while doing so. So no risk and a high level of being successful or a high chance of being successful. Very nice. All I need to see, I need to see someone making silly goose mistake and we are going to slaughter them, right? That's all we need for a full happiness. That would be one, that would be two. A uh, beautiful clip, although not maximum damage, because then I would have needed to shoot this T10, but it changes absolutely nothing. We are still feeling very, very good over there. Now, we know that SMV is sitting here, and unfortunately we cannot penetrate this gentleman, which is kind of sad, but it is how it is. All we need to do, we need to be patient and we need to wait until uh, enemies will make one or another mistake. Obviously, I'm loading APCRs because it is important for us to penetrate our shots. And in the same time, SMV has um, quite a bit of the armor. So it's not like uh, um, he is very easily penetratable tank. It just doesn't work this way. Now, we definitely can penetrate him in the face. Now the question is, will the gun allow us to do so or not? Other than that, we are just enjoying the pure relaxation and we are having a great time while being safe from the enemy forces here. This is what we need. Obviously, if we would play with something like phase one or whatever else tank that has 330 uh, penetration, we would just slaughter uh, this tier 8 SME without even asking his name. That's how we would play this game, but in the same situation, beggars cannot be choosers, right? It's just simply impossible to do so, and if it is impossible to do so, we need to do what we need to do. Meanwhile, Minotauro hit us in the cupola. Wow, would you look at that, fellas. I thought Minotauro cannot hit anything, but little did I knew. Okay, okay, my man, okay, I see how it goes. Not bad. Um, It doesn't change absolutely anything, to be fair with you, and we are still waiting here, and we are just enjoying ourselves. Now, our folks are making a hardcore pressure this way, so they are going to be able to eliminate pretty much everyone who is playing in this area, and in the same time, uh, Minotauro will need to make a turn. What do I mean by saying this Minotauro will need to turn around? And this is what we are looking for, this is what we need. Now we are saying, oh, hello, so, uh, guys, you are aware of that, you are getting flanked, let's go. This is, this is what I am doing in this type of situation. Meanwhile, auto aim, kaboom, unfortunately I'm missing the shot, how about this gentleman? Luckily we are hitting this one. Um, in this game, I am definitely um, way passiver than I should be. Right? We can clearly see that in the first four minutes or whatever that was, I have done pretty much nothing. Which is unfortunate and this is my responsibility, this is my mistake. I definitely made uh, a bad call here. Am I going to cry over this? Absolutely not. I am just going to accept that and I am going to say, okay, fair enough, sometimes shit happens, I guess. Um, definitely one of the worst games with this vehicle. Bad, bad, bad calls from my side. Um, if I could turn back the time, I would play in a completely different area. I would not play over there because it is like low risk uh, gameplay. I would have went right there on the field. And from being on the field, I think I would have been able to get significantly more use. But once again, mistakes were made. At the moment, I cannot complain about this. I knew exactly what I was doing. I know that I chose the safe gameplay. And safe gameplay definitely did not pay off in this type of situation. So I just simply cannot complain about something not working out whenever, um, whenever I am just simply paying uh, well 
whenever I am just simply picking the safest uh, option possible to play the game. Right? Sometimes you need to grow balls and sometimes you need to be aggressive in order to get uh, rewarded. Right? And in this type of situation we have the bloody Progetto who fully clipped me out, which is just straight up disgusting. But at the moment I know that we are winning this game to such a huge margin that it actually changes absolutely nothing and I know that our team is going to win the game nevertheless, right? But yeah, fails are happening once in a while. That is straight up bad, fellas. Okay, sometimes it happens. Uh, mistakes were made. I definitely did not make this tank work. Um, I played badly. It's okay. It happens. Fails will happen for all of us once in a while and that was my fail. It's okay. And we are back with a pathetic score. Uh, 800 damage, 700 assisting damage. Definitely disgusting. Um, I'm very, very upset with my play, but sometimes it happens. Uh, and once again, we cannot do anything. Not only I lost credits, in the same time I hit 4 out of 12 sh uh, shells, which is absolutely pathetic. Um, and I scored somewhere top 5 by experience and uh, somewhere in the second end by the damage. That's okay, mistakes were made. Third game will be better, let's go. And the last but not least, we have a cliff standard battle. Okay, we are going to be fine. What do we want to do? We want to go into the middle. Sure, I could try to risk it for the biscuit and I could try to go like this, but I feel like I am just simply too slow for this type of gameplay. So instead of doing that, I would rather try to play somewhere over there and hopefully I would get tiny touch um, more use by doing so, okay? This is what I'm hoping for, but once again, time will show absolutely everything. Um... Enemy Borat should get slaughtered literally instantly uh, because that was a bad decision from his side. And if this guy is pushing up front, which once again, there is a tiny possibility that he will, um, our sniper schnitzel should be able to eliminate him from the game. I am just simply waiting patiently. I actually very really like how the things are looking like in this game. We have a pattern somewhere here in the middle. Which is not that bad thing for us. We have the budget AP in the middle, which is not that bad for us. So all I need to do, I need to play in this uh, area. And I simply need to make sure that every and each mother trucker who is playing over there, they are going to get punished for their, uh, for their bad decisions. And trust me, there is plenty of the bad decisions to be made. Beautiful free clip over there. Nice. This is what you are looking for whenever you are playing with the tanks like this. You are just simply looking until enemies will mess up and make a, uh, they won't pay attention to the game um, and one peak minus 800 damage, just like so. Now, what will happen for this Tiger Mouse? This Tiger Mouse is sitting literally in the open field and this is very very bad decision from his side. He is already dead, he is in the garage, good. This is what we need. Now, what is the next option for us, how we can get involved and how we can get uh, uh, significantly more aggressive? I would say the next thing, what we are going to do, we are going to go up like so. And what we know, we know that 430U is sniping uh, from here, which is quite a weird position. Yes, he is kind of countering us, but... Honestly speaking, it doesn't change absolutely anything. We are still enjoying ourselves very, very much. And we are having a great time, even though we lost half of the hit points. Plus, on top of that, that means if he can shoot us, we can shoot him. So that is good. Meanwhile, Mr. Tiger 2 is sitting in the open field. And after five seconds, we are going to be... We are going to make sure that Tiger 2 is going straight into the garage. Beautiful one shot. We are waiting for a second and unfortunately I missed the second shot over there. That is straight up um, unfortunate. Nothing what I can do about that if the gun refuses to work. So uh, we are just taking one for the team. It is fine. Meanwhile, looking into all of this, we can clearly see that enemies are trying to go for a last go over there and they are trying to repush our CS-63 and Object 140. This 430U is just simply trying to show the dominance to the best of his abilities. And you know what? He actually did that pretty damn successfully, if you would ask me. But 
it doesn't change the fact that we have the Centurion who is joining our forces and now we can go up front together with him. Or can we? This is the question. We have Arta, but I'm not entirely sure does our Arta has a decent enough angle to slap someone playing over there and now apparently he doesn't have a decent enough angle. Centurion just got caught off guard, which is which sucks for us, obviously, but that is okay. Bad aim by me, I am accepting that and I am going for seconds just like so. I'm trying to fix my track, so hopefully the Kapaza won't be able to penetrate us and he didn't. Very, very nice. This game turned at table so many times, it is absolutely insanity, fellas. Oh, lag, 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 lag. You saw how the tank was moving backwards. This is absolutely insanity, what kind of lags we can have in the games nowadays. But that is okay. What I am looking uh, for now, all I want to do, I want to proxy spot the 430U for obvious reasons. Beautiful shot just like so and another unfortunately not so great shot. But we are going to be completely fine or are we? No, we are going to get slaughtered over there. Unfortunate. Wow. Okay. That is... It is crazy how tables turn it uh, so quickly in this game. I did not really realize this, but those are my first games of the day. And I'm a bit disappointed how everything went. The first game was ideal and after that I was sucking and sucking and sucking. But sometimes it happens and it just shows the difficulty of the tank or, or bad play from my side, which is completely fine. I am okay with this. I'm kind of disappointed how this gentleman did not manage it to save me. Ah. Uh, he did not manage to save me because there was a um, cliff between me and um, and this 430U. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. Nothing what I can change about this. Let's see the score. And we are back. 2.6 thousand damage, 800 assisting damage. Definitely not ideal, but it was such a weird uh, situation. Um... And what do I mean by saying this is it was looking like we are winning very easily. Then it looked uh, equal and then we just simply lost like there is no tomorrow. Um, I did not fully understood how the flying event happened, but it definitely did. It's okay. We are second by experience. We are third by the damage. Definitely not the finest play from my side via, with a T and hash, but it happens. Minus 3000 credits. Overall performance today was very, very, very weak. Um, not gonna lie. The first game was very, very nice. Nice, and after that, all we have done is 4,000 combined, which I would expect a bit more from this tank. But once again, I am showing you every and each game, you know. Um, so not much what we can change about that. Overall, the tank is nice, but it is not super heavy tank. Uh, what you are looking for whenever you are playing with this vehicle, you are trying to play hold down and you are trying to simply clip someone who... Is just simply making a mistake by uh, peeking against you or alternatively you are ma making pressure whenever someone from your team is taking one for the team, then you are clipping someone out. But overall, weak session. I am the most disappointed, not about this game. In this game, I thought I will be able to help their folks and I had the Centurion which made pressure together with me, but obviously did not pay off. Uh, so the biggest problem was I tried to save someone which was just simply stupid and before that, um, I just simply made a bad decision in the game it happens anyways thank you very much for watching fellas i hope you had a great time and i hope you enjoyed yourself next session with the t and hash will be significantly better i believe so anyways thank you and see you soon skill is out for today peace